for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Hello, and welcome to our course on Dreamweaver CS5 Basics. In this video, you're going to see how to create a simple website and how to place pages within that simple website. You can see here I have Dreamweaver CS5 open right now. There are several parts of the screen that you want to take note of. One is the properties panel down here at the bottom. In later videos we're going to be using that quite a bit. You're also going to notice your work panels over here to the right. The most important work panel for us right now is going to be the files and assets panel down here in the lower right hand corner. And this is where you can see all the different documents and files that are going to go to make up your website. Now to begin creating a website, I'm going to go ahead and go to the site menu up here at the top and I'm going to go ahead and select new site. If you wanted to edit your site that you've already created, you could select manage sites from right here. But since we're creating the site brand new, we're going to go ahead and click new site right there. And a dialog box is going to come up. And you're going to have to tell Dreamweaver a couple of different things. First thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to give the site a name. We don't want to leave it as unnamed site 2, so I'm going to go ahead and type test site 1. And then you have to choose a local site folder. This is going to be the folder that Dreamweaver places all the documents in. I'm going to go ahead and click the little folder icon right here. And I'm going to go ahead and navigate to that, the folder that I wish to save these documents in. I'm going to come here to computer and I'm going to go into my Kingston flash drive here. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder to place this in. And I'm going to go ahead and call this test1 site. And again, you can name the site, name the folder, anything you want at this point. Now, one thing that people need to do is always look up here where it says select. Right now, I'm selecting this Kingston drive as my local root folder, even though I just created this folder. You need to make sure that you double click on the folder and that it always says select and the name of the folder you wish to use here in this drop down. I can then click the select button in the lower right hand corner and I'm ready to go ahead and click save. And that's all there is to creating a website inside of Dreamweaver CS5. And you're going to notice when we come over here to the lower right in your Files and Assets panel, you're going to see the local root folder that we created. The next thing that we want to do is we want to create a page within this site. To create a page within a site, all you have to do is go to the File menu and select New. You could also create a new item from the splash screen that appears as a default inside of Dreamweaver. If you don't like this splash screen appearing, you can always check Don't Show Again right down here. Additionally, you can go ahead and in your Files and Assets panel, you can right click and that will bring up a shortcut menu that will allow me to create a folder or a file here. For right now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to File and click New, and a new dialog box will appear. And it's going to allow me to create different kinds of things. I can create pages from templates or pages from a sample, but I just want a plain blank web page here. So I'm going to make sure a uh, blank page is selected, and I'm going to select Page Type, HTML, and Layout is None. I don't want Dreamweaver to do anything for me there. You're also going to choose the document type over here. By default, the document type is XHTML 1.0 Transitional. But if you click that drop down, you could select any of these other options that you want. For example, if you're working in HTML5, I could select HTML5 there. Once you're finished selecting this, you're going to go ahead and click Create. And a new web page has been created. Now notice that that web page doesn't appear right now in the Files and Assets panel. And that's because while we've created it, we haven't saved it. 
much like a Word document that you might open up and begin working on, you need to save that if you want to use it later on. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the File menu, and I'm going to go ahead and select Save. And now I'm going to name my file. Now for this course, we're only going to be dealing with HTML files. So all of your files are going to end in .htm or .html. It doesn't matter which one you use, they both work the same. Naming your files, you can name your files anything you want, with one exception. The very first file, your home page, needs to be called index. It can either be index.htm or index.html, but it does need to be the word index. Beyond that, you can name your files again anything you want. You should, however, stick with lowercase letters, numbers, dashes, and underscores. Don't use any symbols or spaces anywhere or uppercase letters anywhere in your file or folder names. Stick with numbers and lowercase letters and dashes and spaces. So I'm going to go ahead and type index.htm. Again, it doesn't matter whether you do index.htm or index.html. And then I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And I'm going to save my web page within my site might take just a bit to come up there. And now you're going to go ahead and see index.htm. You're also going to notice that index.htm has a tab right up here at the top. You can open and be working with as many different pages as you want in Dreamweaver at one time. And they're simply going to become tabs up here at the top. For example, I'm going to go ahead and create another page. Now before we went to the File menu and selected New. But this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click right here on my root folder and I'm going to go ahead and select new file. And what that does is it creates a new file with the default file extension inside of your local root file. And I'm going to name this contact. And I'll leave the extension alone as .html. With that step, you don't have to go ahead and go to File, Save to save the document and give it a name. But you do have to. You're going to notice I only have index.html open here. You will have to double click on the file name in order to open it up. So you'll see now I have index and I've got contact. And the last thing I'm going to go ahead and do is just type some simple text onto this page. I'm going to go ahead and type welcome to my website, and then I'm going to go ahead and go to the contact page, and I'm going to go ahead and type contact information. Now when I did that, you're going to notice that the tabs up here at the top have little asterisks on them. Yes, just to the right of the name. What that indicates is that you've made changes to that page and you haven't saved those changes yet. If you wanted to close the page and not save the changes, you can just simply click the X here. Or you can go to the File menu and you have your Save command right there. You also have Save All here. So if you have many different documents open, many different web pages open at once, and you want to just save them all instead of saving them individually, you just go ahead and click Save All. And now you're going to see when I look at my tabs here, there's no longer any asterisk. So that's just a little reminder that you need to save your changes. In the next video, we're going to talk about adding simple content onto your pages. For more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com.